Hi, happy October 2nd. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Um, lots of things changing, nothing changing. Uh, we all just found out Trump has coronavirus. Um, and there's two, you know, a couple of thoughts about that. One is it's bullshit. Some people are like, yay. Some people are like, no. But again, uh, I mean, unless we really know, right, if it actually takes him out, we're not really going to know if it's true or not. So that seems to be what's up right now. So, we're I mean, we're still in this massive shedding of nonsense within ourselves and other people. So uh, I guess that's my question to you is, are you calling yourself out? Are you able to recognize what's your own nonsense? And um, it's hard to do. I want to say it's hard to do. It's not actually because it's up in your face. If it's the thing that you're like, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want, well, look at it. Uh, it's actually, it's less exertion of energy, honestly, to look at it um, and then let it pass through and then let it go away and then you've got some space to breathe. Uh, I'm definitely dealing with this. Uh, I decided to pull a couple tarot cards. Um, this is a new deck to me. I am not 100% familiar with it. I did peruse the book, just so you know. I'm not, I'm not that confident um, in my non-book interpretations of this new deck. So just looking at the energy of right now, I used, right, this is the Pride Tarot. Uh, it's interesting, I pulled Seven of Swords and Three of Wands. So uh, Seven of Swords, yeah. This individual is sneaking away from the ship, uh, taking the weapons with him, and he's got a don't ask, don't tell tattoo on his arm. And the idea is that he's, I guess my question is why did he enter the military knowing about don't ask, don't tell, unless they didn't know that they would be affected by it, and now they do? And they're still not really dealing with it. So they're kind of taking people down with them by taking the swords. And then the next one is three of wands. And this one is an individual who is dealing with it, who is recognizing that there's truths and awarenesses that need to come to light. And they are in it. <clears throat> so they're looking off into the future. Uh, the primary message for this one is to find your role in nature and to find your nature. So stripped down, bare, raw, real, authentic, um, getting down to it. And that is what is up for show. Uh, I don't really, I haven't been making videos because I haven't really had anything. Um, <clears throat> I haven't, excuse me, anything crazy new to say. So I, on a personal note, have just been practicing my practice, my craft. I had mentioned a couple of videos ago that I've um, <clears throat> started leaning more into witchcraft. Uh, more so in the sense that I recognized that that's what I was doing anyway. I just hadn't put a name to it. I just thought I was uh, a girl from Boulder and I like crystals and as I started to really pay better attention to what uh, is available to me <clears throat> via crystals, via intention, via energy work, um, focus, working on yourself, um, working on myself, all of those things I was already doing. So to put it inside of a, what would you say, inside a vessel uh, that we would call witchcraft, um, 
It is not devil worship. I'm not going to get into the myths. Do your own research if this is bugging you out. Um, it's not. There's nothing about the devil in it. And for the record, devil is a con Christian construct, so it wouldn't even be involved in that. Uh, because it's not Christianity. Um, let's see. Uh, so that has actually been good. It's been really grounding. Um, I've been very consistent, which is good for me. Um, it helps me be grounded. I have a space in my house that's dedicated to some moments in the morning and some moments in the evening uh, where I can put forth ideas for the day and then also come back and reflect on how the day went. Um, and so it's working for me. Um, my dog is turning 10. I'm having a birthday party for her at a dog park. Um, she's been really great. I realize she's kind of my familiar in a manner of speaking. Uh, I mean, she's here and she's been here for a long time and she's been with me through a lot. So, um, I'm glad I have her. And the children I work with, it is clear that they are being affected by everything that's going on. I don't think just, uh, I mean, full moon didn't help, but uh, if you're a parent with small children, or I suppose with any age, but um, I would ask that you be mindful of how well you are engaging in self-care, because I guarantee it is eking out onto your children if you are not. Um, there, there is a lot of aggression with these little guys and um, that's sort of un I mean we're in unprecedented times right so it's day to day for us and moment to moment trying to figure out how to address <laughs> how to address what we can't address with them they're three and under well they're all under three but um, I don't know. We have to deal with our own, too. We have to check ourselves. We can't go in all angsty and freaked out. And even if we are, we have to check it. So, um, And, of course, even if you don't have children, I hope that you're engaging in self-care and uh, able to address the issues that are coming up for you, allow them to be uh, up long enough so that they can continue on and out. Uh, I know that that's hard. I know ruminating is is a thing. I've been doing it all morning. Uh, and then what's the difference, right, between allowing something to simply exist so that it can go out and something that's just going to sit here like this and ruminate and be in our brain. Um, so for that, some ideas I have are, um, you can talk to it. Be like, hey, I see you. And if you're here to teach me something great, but if you're just uh, attached to me, I'm going to cut that off. And then just imagine yourself, see there's a cord between you and this thought process. And say, you are free to go back to wherever you came from. I send you back with love. And if you have to do it a couple times, you do it a couple times. Um, think about how amazing it's going to be A, when we can do that quickly, when things can come up and you can go, oh, I see it. Adios and learn from it and move through it instead of uh, it just being this luggage that we drag around with us. Um, that That's over. We don't have to do that. We never had to do it, but I'm just letting you know you don't have to do that. You don't have to drag the luggage. Hell, you can unpack the luggage, let that go, and then also sever the luggage. <laughs> we set ourselves free from our own nonsense and all the paradigms that have been imposed upon us allow everyone to be who they are, allow ourselves to be who we are, 
And yes, unfortunately or fortunately, that means even the things we don't agree with. People are allowed to be shitty. You don't have to be involved with them if you don't want to. But people are where they are, right? So all the more reason for self-care. And creating, do a boundary, do an energetic protection around yourself. What does that look like? Put an energetic (laughs) protection around you. Imagine yourself uh, engulfed in a bright white or bright golden sphere of light. Uh, We are inside of it and we are protected. And say, I am protected or please protect me. Um, Talk to people, whomever that is for you. It's all intention. It's all, this is what our imaginations are for. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, it is not just there for um, opinions and berating ourselves. It has been said that the imagination is like when you are having a, a daydream or a fantasy about something you want, that that's actually a future memory. And I like that. Uh, as a heavy daydreamer, I like that. Um, So please take care, Uh, be in touch if you'd like, and I will see you soon.